Good morning, everybody. It's 10.15 in the morning. My window's open. It's nice and warm outside. The fan's running on medium, and I got a hot cup of coffee. I've got an area of scripture I'm going to read. 1 Timothy, the last chapter, 11 through 16, ends with amen. Good confession is a title of this teaching. I think I can get it to you in seven minutes or less. And uh, I, I found a uh, Thompson Chain reference old Bible. I think I paid less than five dollars for it. It's a clean read. You can see I've only got one blue window marked up here for the teaching. 611 of First Timothy, if you're following me. But thou, O man or woman of God, must have a drink on that one. Coffee, French vanilla. What does this coffee cup say? Oh, life tree. Yeah, water of life, tree of life, book of life, eternal life. Spirit of life, human life, likeness before image as spirit before word. That's a solid rock principle. All right. L means first, capital E, capital L with a singular dash underneath it. It's singular, first strong and almighty, but first is first. The Father is first. Had a pastor this weekend say, the eternal Lord Jesus Christ, which is a true statement, but before the Son was the Father, L, Father, Father is first before the Son, all right? And he also said, I know of no living gods higher than me. I'm highest, El Yon, most high. The Father is first and most high, highest, El Yon. So that's why the three singular titles and two singular plural titles are important. Do you know the first singular plural title that's important? The English word is creation. What's the Hebrew Bible word? Elohim. Back to the word. But thou, O man or woman of God, flee these things and follow... These things are the ones before where I just read. But we're to follow, follow me, the Lord said to his disciples and his chosen apostles face to face. And he chose Paul in the Arabian desert face to face. Read the first chapter of Galatians. Follow after righteousness or right. He that is righteous, be righteous still. He that is right, be right still. Righteousness. Follow after godliness. Likeness before image. Spirit before word spoken or written. Spirit before the one person, human body, image, the Lord Jesus Christ. The spirit was before a human body. Adam. Faith in Christ, love, agape love, truth. Ooh, I'm writing that one down right underneath. You cannot have the A G O P Y, that's the Greek word for God's love, agape love without the truth. God's agape love is a truth love. All right, I wrote it right there in that opening. I got all three words in. Patience, meekness, fight the good fight. Do you know what the good fight is? Did I start my timer? ka I did. I got to hurry. I got two minutes. Fight the good fight. The good fight, the number one good doing is speaking truth. In love, speaking truth with your neighbor at all times. Ephesians 4.15 and 4.25. I read on. Fight the good fight of faith in Christ, laying hold of eternal life. Do you know how to spell eternal spiritually? 
you take out the A and you put a capital E over it and then you make the L into a capital, put a little leg on it and a singular dash underneath it. E-T-E-R-N capital E capital L is the way you spell eternal spiritually. Eternal life. It's all about life. Book of life, water of life, tree of life, spirit of life, eternal life. Okay. Whereunto thou art called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God who quickeneth all things and before Christ Jesus our Lord. Add Lord. Always give deity and say Lord Jesus. You believe that Jesus is Lord, not that he's Savior. Romans 10, 9. You believe and confess, have a witness and a testimony that Jesus is Lord. I'm telling you spiritual truth here. We got to get it right. The Christian church has got the cart before the horse. They got it all backwards. I love them dearly, but they don't have it right. They're preaching man-centered, make money, control the masses, human minds in Christianity. All right? I'm not a Christian. I'm a Christ way believer. I follow the disciples, the beloved believers of the first group before and after the cross that loved Messiah, loved the Lord Jesus Christ. Here's a good one. Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession. What was the good confession? I know it by heart. Do you? What was the good confession that the Lord Jesus witnessed? I can get out in a couple minutes here. That's seven minutes. Witnessed before Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, that gave permission to the chief priests, the scribes, and the Pharisees, the Jews, to execute or crucify the Lord. They had to get permission from the Roman governor. And they forced the Roman governor to give him permission. He came out at least twice, maybe three times, at least twice. I find no fault in this man. What's going on? Speaking of the Lord Jesus Christ. But the Lord Jesus Christ said this. And you can read on down to you get to the amen in verse 16. All right. The only potentate and king of kings and lord of lords are talking about in the end of 14, the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, and back up to 11. Before Pontius Pilate, he witnessed a good confession. He said this, for this, for this I was born, the Lord speaking. I'm paraphrasing or quoting him. For this I was born. I left my world and realm, the spiritual world, came into your world and realm, the natural world, the human world, for this purpose, okay, to bear witness to the truth. Those that are, and I'm adding a word, born of the truth, born of the Holy Spirit, sealed and born of the Spirit, are of the truth and hear my voice or my teachings or hear the Holy Spirit today, the still small voice in your mind, the quiet time thought in your mind from the Holy Spirit, the comforter and the teacher of truth. The number one good doing is speaking truth with your neighbor in love and agape love truth. You cannot have the agape love, God's love, without the truth of God. They go hand in hand together. They're of the same one Spirit holy is God. One spirit holy is God, the one God. Love you. Bye.